Hello and welcome to Pflegekraft. My name is Lukas Maximowski and I'm a specialist nurse for anesthesia and intensive care here in Germany. A viewer of my channel has asked me the following question. Hello, I'm working also in Nordrhein-Westfalia, so here in Germany, on an intensive care unit. The venous blood gas analysis tests about the pumping function of the heart or if the patient lacks fluid. Can you explain further about this? Thanks and great video. So first, thank you for your question and I have to make one thing clear. A normal venous blood gas analysis won't tell you anything about the pumping function of your heart. What you mean is a central venous blood gas analysis. When you take a blood sample from a central venous gas, where does this blood come from? Here in this picture, you see where the cast is ending. So, the central venous saturation is considered to be an indicator of tissue oxygenation and a surrogate parameter for um, the cardiac output. And it can be determined pretty easily um, via the central venous cast, short for repetition. The oxygen saturation is telling us how much of the hemoglobin is saturated with oxygen. So, if I take blood from a central venous catheter, I will take it in the vena cava superior. So, where does the blood come from? From the head, my neck and my arms. So, the oxygen saturation I'm measuring in a blood gas analysis via a CVC is not from my complete blood circuit. It's only from my head, my neck and my arms. If I want to have the complete oxygen saturation of my whole body, I need to have a pulmonary artery, pulmonary artery catheter so the whole venous blood is mixed in my heart and I take a blood sample and see what happens. But studies say that the value of the central venous catheter blood sample and the pulmonary artery catheter blood sample only differs by 5 to 10 percent. So why can we draw conclusions um, about the pump performance of our heart via uh, venous, uh, central venous blood gas analysis. If your oxygen demand increases or your organism cannot increase the cardiac output, then your cells will ex extract more oxygen from the blood passing by. So, of course, if the cells extract more oxygen from the blood passing by, you will have a lower oxygen, oxygen saturation in the vena cava superior. And it must be clear that everything else must be right, such as the arterial oxygenation and the hemoglobin and so on. So what about the fluid? I know that many doctors and nurses are telling you that you can see the lack of fluid in the blood gas analysis. But I, I, I cannot confirm this with any doubt, because when your O2 consumption is staying on the same level and you have less blood in your body, your cells will be exhausted more O2 from the um, blood passing by because you have less blood in your body. You can't be 100% sure that your patient have a lack of fluid, so hypovolemia. It can also be a heart failure, your heart is not pumping enough blood, uh, blood from your body or uh, hypoxemia if you don't take a uh, arterial blood sample five minutes before you take the venous blood sample. So there is a, another value you can consider. It's the hematocrit or uh, I don't know how we call it. I think hematocrit, yeah, hematocrit in, uh, in German. The hematocrit tells me about the water content of my blood. If there is a lack of water, my hematocrit will increase. If I overhydrated the patient, the hematocrit will fall. And of course, look at the hemoglobin. 
if the patient is bleeding, you will have a problem and the O2 saturation of your venous, BG, venous BGA will fall because there is not enough blood in your body. Less blood will desaturate it faster. So I hope this will help you. Sorry for my bad English, you asked me this question in English, so I try to answer this question in English. Um, but I think you get the point. If you like this video and want to support me, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.